in this video I'm gonna show you the best baits I think you can buy at Walmart to go and catch some big fish let's go There's a party going on over here, guys, and I just came uninvited. There he is, guys. He actually came back for it. Got him. There we go. I got one chasing it. Got him. Fish at your own risk, my friend. All right, guys, welcome back uh, to today's video. So we are currently headed to Walmart right now. Wow, that's a start. We are currently headed to Walmart to pick up some baits that I ordered online to show you guys. Um, pretty much what I think are the best baits that you can get at Walmart to go and catch some good sized fish so I'm headed over like I said gonna pick up these baits did an online order and uh, we're gonna see if we can go out and catch some fish on these baits Eddie appreciate it we've got the baits now let's go out there and catch some fish alright guys so in this Walmart bag, I'm holding what I think are the best baits for you to catch fish. I picked them up at Walmart, I ordered them online like I told you guys, and uh, we have arrived to where we are going to be fishing today. So let me just go ahead and take these out, show you guys what we're working with, kind of get your breakdown. We're going to be doing some bank fishing also, so for you bank fishermen and anybody else that fishes, the baits I chose, I chose these baits, they can be used anywhere for any time of the year not just for the fall I know we're in fall right now but this is for any time of the year type baits and that's why I chose this if you guys want to see me do nothing but fall baits the best three or five fall baits from Walmart let me know or from anywhere let me know and I will make it happen so we've got all the baits that we're gonna be working with today um, let's start off with some yums first off yum dingers four inch and five inch are both super super good to use i've got the black and blue and then i've got green pumpkin red flake i really like the yums in this color so i had to order them strike king strike king will work just as good but definitely have to have these ear around on the deck of the boat no matter what so those three right there are money no matter what of course you got to have some crawls crawls work anywhere any time of the year are absolutely money not only are they good to use by themselves but they are good to pair up with my all-time favorite Walmart bait. No my hands down. Nothing can beat it. Nothing ever will. The Bitsy Black and Blue Jig. You guys that watch the channel know about this. That is the number one Walmart bait. Then, lastly, we have a hard bait, which I wanted to get a hard bait in there. I've got the Six Cents Crush, which is really cool that Walmart started selling Six Cents uh, crankbaits. Their crankbaits are absolutely fire. So, I got a color I've never used. I want to try this one. I usually use black and blue crankbait, but this will work just as good. So, yeah. We're going to start off in this little corner right here. I want to run that crankbait parallel to that bank. There used to be a ton of grass in this pond and uh, kind of disappeared, kind of sunk down. I'm guessing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run that crankbait first, get a little moving bait action before we start pulling with anything else. There he is. There's one. One little crank bait. Oh, on the old six sensor. Bringing in some salad with them. First one of the day, guys, on the crank bait. Let's clear it. Okay. He wanted that old pumpkin seed. Not a giant, but show that they like these baits. Which this actually came out to be a perfect, um, perfect color for me to choose, just because their primary food source in in ponds and stuff is is gonna be um, crankbait. I mean, not crankbaits, but uh, bluegill. So a bluegill color would make sense. There's not shad in here. There might be some minnows, but they're mostly feeding off bluegill crawfish stuff like that so this color actually worked out perfect all right 
We're gonna try the green pumpkin red flake, which is money everywhere you go. Doesn't matter. That's probably top three all-time best baits ever made. Green pumpkin red flake Senko. No matter where you go. There he is. Got him, guys. First cast with it. Not a bad one. First cast with him. Look at that. He's long. Side of the mouth. Corner of the mouth with it. He got tricked. <laughs> there we go. Second fish, guys. Like I said, the green pumpkin red flake. Absolutely cash money. First cast with it. All right, let's try, uh, this is the ones that I just caught them with. Took it, but we'll try the red, we'll do, we'll do the yum this time. This is the green pumpkin black flake, which is just as good. Ooh, that wind blew, and this smells like a whole lot of cow manure. There's one. Got him, guys. Oh, talking about cow manure, and I got smoked. There we go. That was on the black flake, green pumpkin black flake, kind of right across the tongue. Fish number three, stacking them and whacking them. He actually didn't take my worm, surprisingly. So as I'm walking to the other side of the pond, I am seeing a ton of fish cruising on the banks. Some of them are just kind of they're relaxing i might try to hit them there's one right there i'm gonna try to hit some of these from a from a distance almost like bed fishing let's see if we can trick any of these ah they're super sticky as soon as i casted it he shot off Oh, he actually came back for it. Got him. Oh, he shot off. He left and came back for it. That was so freaking cool. Oh, wow. It's a lot bigger than I thought he was. He looked really small in the water. Oh, that was awesome. There we go. Healthy fish. Just sitting on the bank eating those, those minnows and stuff. That was awesome. Oh, my God. I got one chasing it. Got him. Oh, I saw him come up eating some little minnows on the bank. I cast it over there, and he came and crushed it. Oh, that's the biggest one of today, too. That was freaking awesome. Right on the bottom of it. There we go. That was such a cool catch. I've had some pretty cool catches today. I've had some one where I was kind of sight fishing. That one where I saw him blow up on some minnows, and then threw my Senko out there and he came and crushed it that was pretty sick jeez guys I almost freaking went down like quicksand I stepped right there and freaking went straight in fish at your own risk my friend come on baby bring home the bacon Is, guys let's go oh i just hit the turtle on the head with the bass that's a first let's go okay okay he's not a giant not, nothing to go home and brag to the wife about you know but uh definitely fun catching there we go I haven't even tried my other baits. This is just too much fun throwing this wacky worm around. They're destroying this thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, got him. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Let's go. 
let's go that's better biggest one not a bad one guys look at that one there we go got a little size to them welcome to the party party there we go guys solid fish look at that they're going crazy behind me i'm gonna get him back in the water over here and try to get back in there that's the biggest one definitely there's a party going on over here guys and i just came uninvited but it's all good there's one got him let's go baby let's go oh you guys have grown since the last time i've been here to see you been eating good Peace, homie. Simmer down. Well guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed me fishing with what I think is Walmart's best baits. If you guys wanna see another video like this, make sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys wanna see the worst baits out of Walmart. Maybe a challenge with the worst baits or my top three favorite baits from there. Just anything to do with Walmart. If you guys wanna see that, make sure to let me know down in the comments and I will make it happen. Thank you guys for watching once again. And most importantly, don't forget to keep it real. It's your boy Eddie, and I'm out. Peace.